out of three Black Americans say that they're frequently misrepresented in media. But when you start to dive into Black America in these different segments um, and opportunities that exist, um, you look at Black men, 66% uh, often feeling misrepresented in media. Afro-Latinos, 81%. That for us spells opportunity. And when you talk about, again, numbers that really make the money move, that's the growth engine, that is your dollar buying power engine, right? But also take a look at that Black queer community number. Um, and our Black people with disabilities, Black women, all of these groups are over 60% when they're saying, I'm encountering content or media engagement. And so the better that we can get at understanding the complexity, the diversity that exists within our diaspora, the more successful we will be as a business. Um, because if you're painting this uh, community with broad strokes, you're missing out on so many opportunities with us. Brands certainly have a job to do here because our demographic, 59%, say they're more likely to buy from brands that feature their identity group in ads. So how are you thinking about the complex identities that exist within our diaspora? Here's what's at stake. Uh, around the world, there is risk because our black audiences told us that they're willing to cut ties with the brands that don't value their community. And so that is, for me, one of the most powerful takeaways that we found in this study. This isn't even about your DEI strategy. This is your growth yeah. strategy, period. Absolutely. Um, black American population is projected to go from 15 to 18 percent in the next couple of years. The upside is making money. Yes. Right. At the end of the day, all of our companies want to make money. And this is audience engagement, audience understanding. It's all about knowing and understanding your audience. And this is no different. So yes, it has a diversity lens, but it's about understanding the consumers that you are targeting as a company, period. So what's at stake is money, Absolutely. quite frankly. Yes. Um, and not doing it means that you will be left behind mm. as the population continues to shift as their interests continue to diversify, and as the opportunities to engage with them and the platforms, to your point, in which you do it, continue to diversify as well. So you have to evolve. Mm. This is an evolution of ensuring that your consumers are fully locked in to whatever product or service that you have, whatever piece of content that you are creating. Yeah. It's an investment in that strategy. We all have heard and seen that DEI is under attack. So Charlene, with your purview, what would you advise our audience here today as a response to what they're hearing within their own corporate walls? Unfortunately, our community has a legacy of dealing with attack. Mm. So whatever you need to call it, yep. do the work, period. Mm -hmm. um, this work informs your strategies, this work makes your team stronger. Mm -hmm. This work informs um, where the next big thing will come from, yep. um, how you stay current, and how you can stay a leading edge brand or content provider. Mm -hmm. So if the acronym bothers you, change the acronym, yeah. but do the work. Mm -hmm. Because without that strategy to make your company culture and team smarter and better informed, you won't be able to hit the strategies that you need to meet this demand because the change is already here. And so you have to continue to do the work because when the acronyms change, when the framework with how we talk about it changes, yep. you want to ensure that consumers know that you were down the entire time and that you were invested in them and their, them as audiences for your brand the entire time. So you have to be consistent. You have to consistently do the work. Thank you.